Hello everyone, this is Lori with LM's Crafty Creations. I am here today to share with you the most adorable mini album. This uh, mini album is a design team project for CountryCraftCreations.com. This is um, made with the papers from the September Craftology box that are adorable. These papers are not available in the store. You can only get them in the Craftology boxes. And um, the paper line I used here is Doodlebug Designs. Uh, booze and brews. It is so cute. Um, so what I've made here is, where's my ruler? A uh, six by six. Whoops, that's not the right way. Yeah, it's a six by six album, and the spine is around two inches. And um, what I've done on the front cover here is I used uh, the flowers that came um, in the box. These are petally flowers, I believe. And what I have done in the center, instead of putting the centers that came with the flowers, I used these adorable little spooky eye brads that I bought at Hobby Lobby some time ago. They've been sitting in my stash for quite a while. And then here I took a 4x4 cut apart I mounted him on some cardstock and I made him into a pocket and I just stuck this three and a quarter by four and a quarter photo mat in here and I added the um, these little tab stickers on the top so he kind of they kind of stick out and you could just pull it out on the side here I used the little um, rhinestones that came with the collection this is a sticker from the collection that I just put on cardstock and, and cut around it. This is the cute velvet um, adhesive rickrack trim, and I put it on both sides here. Um, this is the organza ribbon that came with the um, my box, and I just used it as little leaves and bows, and then I put a little binding on the side here, and then I put my... Uh, little jack-o'-lantern charm right there on the bottom so here is the side and it's a little crazy my ribbon likes to all gather in one space and I may change this up a bit because I want it a little poofier and to hang down but on the spine I put the spider paper and I mounted it on some cardstock here and then I took the little spider stickers that I had if you can see you can't really tell but some of the spiders are shiny and they're kind of lifted up. Those are for the stickers. So I just stuck the stickers on there to kind of give it some dimension. And then there's the back. I just used the border paper because it was so cute. And on the inside, so I was a little afraid about, because um, I really created this project before I got, I knew how many papers I was going to have. And I was a little afraid I wasn't going to have enough paper. So... Um, I actually did really well. I filled in all of the photo mats have plain cardstock on them, um, but as far as all the pages, you'll see that they are all covered in design paper. So uh, I did use every single bit of paper that I had. So on the inside, there's just a, f a pocket on the front cover, and I stuck these little stickers I had left because I thought it would be cute, you know, when I'm putting photos in the album to maybe use some of these stickers. I didn't want to lose them. So here's another um, ribbon with uh, the other pumpkin charm that I had. And then this is a sticker from the collection mounted on cardstock. And over here I did a, um, a cut apart from the collection. I mounted it on cardstock and I just made it to where it fit. It overlapped on this flap here. So this opens up. This is magnetic right here, but I have so much going on in here that um, the magnet is still sticking but it's tight so there's a flap here so this opens up this way and there in the corner pockets there's these little booklets so this is these are just stickers from the collection and then I left them blank on the inside just for photos and this one's actually covered on the back but most of them are not these are just stickers from the collection this is from the punch outs that I showed you that I received in my haul video. And then I did use the purple cardstock to cover this section, but most everywhere else I used the pattern paper. 
This is also a punch out and then a border sticker. And then again, blank on the inside. <coughs> Excuse me. And that closes. There is a magnet, like I said. And on each pocket, there is a pull out mat. And the mat part measures five by five. But the full mat is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And they just stick right in here. So the back of page two has this cute little uh, pocket. And this is a sticker from the collection. I mounted it on cardstock and stuck it on here. And this, I cut this ghost out using my Kiwi Lane templates. Let me show you. This one's called Tiny Holiday. And it's just this little ghost. So I traced around it in white paper and just inked the edges and stuck it on. I did that in a couple of places here because I thought those were so cute. And I stuck a sticker right there. And again, blank on the inside and on the back. And that just fits in that pocket. This does not have a magnet. It just stays closed by itself. So there's a space for about a four, you know, a, a four by four photo, maybe a little larger. And then you can get a photo here. This flips down, a photo here. This is a pocket, and I used the uh, border sh sheet to um, uh, mat this, and then some of the rhinestones. And then on the pocket part, I used, um, this is actually a cut apart that I cut to fit here, the table of elements. And then this is another booklet that I made, and I just put some of the border stickers um, that I had left, and then again, blank on the inside. That goes in there. On this side, I originally was going to have another small pocket right here, but I ended up using this cut apart right here. This is a four by six cut apart. I cut to size and then I added these little rhinestones right there. You see those? This is a pocket and there is my five by five photo mat. And then there's that cute science themed paper with all the beakers and everything. This paper was just adorable, so fun to work with. And then this is just the pull out mat on the side. Turn this over. This was an extra cut apart I had left and um, I cut it down a little bit to fit on this card, um, this scrap piece that I had left and I um, added the two spider stickers. The design already had the spiders on there and I just added the stickers to kind of give it some dimension. This, I actually cut this paper too short, so I put this little strip of paper here and, and made it into a pocket to cover that up. So this flips open, you can put a photo here and then a photo here, and on this flap right here, I used, where are they? You could of course use your spell binders like border strips. But again, I used a Kiwi Lane border called Delight. I don't know if this is the right one, but this, this is the set that I used throughout this album. And I just put it on here, traced it, and cut it out. So then when I did my matting, I cut my matting a quarter of an inch smaller, just like I would when I'm matting anything else, and then added the border on that, traced it, and cut it out. And this is what I got, and I thought it was really cute. I don't always like dragging out my die cut machine and everything to do this, but I like having the cute borders. So here I just have the paper and I added some little rhinestones there at the bottom. Lift it up. Another space for photos here. And then these are two flaps that will hold three by four photos on each side. Right there. And then a large space right there. This is my favorite paper. It's so cute. So no magnet here either. It stays shut on its own. Um, this right here, there's a flap and I used a cut apart, four by six cut apart to mat it and I um, cut it down to size. And then I just added these rhinestones here for their eyes to kind of make it pop a little bit. Open this up and I have a corner pocket on this side with just a sticker from the collection and then a little booklet that I I matted part of it and then put a border strip down the side. Here's some more of that cute velvet rickrack. 
and then I have two photo mats here, one for a 3 by 4 photo and then a 5 by 5 mat. And then there's that cute paper in that pocket. So this closes this way. There is, there's your photo mat on the side there. And turn the page. On this side, I have another top flap. Sorry about that. Um, a top flap with a cut apart and uh, that I cut down to size. I think this was a 4x4 four four cut apart. And then I added some rhinestone bling right there. Lift that up and then I have paper here. And then this is a pocket, a shallow pocket. And there's that cute plaid paper and this is the stars. And there's just two photo mats here. Again, a 5x5 five five and a 3x4. On this side you have two flaps for two, um, actually four small 3x4 photos and then another pocket and I just um, put some stickers here and then some rhinestones here. This right here is a cut apart that I had left that I just mounted on cardstock and there's another 5x5 five five mat and there's the just the, the cute spider paper that I used for that pocket and then there's a mat right here a ton of space for photos but I really did load this one down it's pretty chunky so here I have a small flap here and it's it's like a three inch flap so I use the front of it as just a decorative element I put this sticker on cardstock and stuck it here so this flips open and then you have two spaces to put some small photos here flip it open again another space for a photo and then a pocket with the two mats again, the three by four and five and a quarter by five and a quarter is really what this is. And this does not have a magnet either. This does have a magnet. This is a cut apart from the collection that I cut down to fit and there's some rhinestones there. This opens up. Again, I used my Kiwi templates and um, just cut that to make a cute decorative border. This opens up this way and then this is actually a belly band that I used a 4x6 cut apart to mat that. I just cut it down to size so and then you take these two, there's two more mats that fit in here. So this closes. Here is that mat on the side. You can get it back in there. And right here I used another 4x6 cut apart and then I did some little rhinestones here and then up here with the stars. This flips open, it's not magnetized. There is a little border sticker on each side here. And then on the sixth page there is, oh that's getting a little, oh I bet my rhinestones are kind of messing that pocket up a little bit. Um, so this is a pocket. I did another decorative border here using the same templates. These are stickers from the collection. I have two mats, again a 5x5 five five and a 3x4, and then I just uh, matted the pocket. This opens up this way, and um, I have a little 3x4 flap here that opens up, and then there's another larger flap here that opens up as well and then you have this large spread for photos. So these close up this way and that closes that way and I do have a magnet on this flap. And then here is this uh, photo mat. <coughs> on this side, this is the last page, and um, this is a 4x6 cut apart, again with some bling on it, and then the cute paper here. This I did a little pocket here on top of the larger pocket. This is a sticker from the collection. I just stuck two photo mats, 3 by 4 mats inside this little pocket. And then there's a larger mat in the larger pocket. So this closes and this is, it does have a magnet in it. Now on the back cover I did a little feature here and this is a sticker from the collection mounted on cardstock. This is um, 
a little uh, organza bow again and then in the pocket um, I cut out another one of those cute little ghosts and did some border stickers and the star stickers and this is empty on the inside and on the back and then there's just another photo mat here those go in there this is magnetized so you can get you know a photo here probably a four by five there's a mat inside this larger pocket here and then this is a sticker from the collection both of these right here and then this mat is magnetized and flips up this way and you can fit two more photos here and then that's the end so as you can see I didn't count how many photos this would fit in it but I know it would fit a lot but you can see how chunky mine is like once I get photos in it it's probably gonna bow out just a little bit uh, but that's okay I, I think it's really cute I love all the mats I could get in it and um, and I think it turned out really great so I am gonna have um, a tutorial for this one on my channel I'm um, actually probably now that you're watching this it's probably already on there but um, I'm gonna turn this video off and go work on that so I hope you liked my 6x6 six six album. I've been wanting to make one for quite a while. And I believe you could get away with matting this with just one collection pack of paper. But you may have to do your mats and some of the accents in solid color paper. And since this is Halloween, I just use orange, purple, and gray for my photo mats. So there you go. There's my 6x6 six six album. Go to countrycraftcreations.com and um, subscribe to the monthly craftology boxes. This one was for September. There is a new one coming out for October very soon. And so go check it out. So thanks for watching.